Yes indeed, it's Michael Alder here from CarpetExpertBlueprint.com and in this video I'm going to share with you every way to install different types of flooring. Now this is a lot of PP on the back of the carpet, but the reality is I need to clear out a lot of the content I have saved on my phone, so we are doing a mashup in this. So yes, pets totally destroy carpet and we get a lot of jobs from that, but this is indoor outdoor carpet. You could see I actually did a double cut on that and we are going to seal the seam going to go ahead and slide it together to make sure none of the fuzzies run and we're going to trim it in with a razor sharp knife. Be sure to change your blades several times when you're working with indoor outdoor carpet because it frays and runs and all that fun stuff. So you want a good sharp blade when you're trimming it. Next, we are doing an entryway landing here in sheet vinyl installation. So we're doing a full spread glue adhesive. Then I'm taking the sheet vinyl, dropping it down rough cutting everything in and it's actually going up to two stairs there we'll see if i have some content on that as well but go ahead and trim everything down till it's manageable and then just take your time creasing along the baseboards and things like that with a hook knife a stair tool a chisel and then slowly trim it in with your knife so you can get a beautiful finished product next we do have some content on the stairs here so i am gluing the face of the step and the top of the step so we can go ahead and make sure the sheet vinyl grabs appropriately and as you can see I busted out the staple gun there because some of those vinyl tiles were falling off and typically you would want to take all those off and start from scratch but this is a total hack and whack job right here where the client just wants it done and good to go next we are tearing out uh, rubber backing carpet pad Wow, that was a lot for me to say right there. So we have to use the razor scrapers, scrape it up a little section at a time, nothing fun about this whatsoever, very time consuming. So make sure you have some good tunes playing in the background, just scrape, 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 sweep, sweep, sweep. And then we're doing an installation of rubber flooring. So as my guys get ahead of me there and we all fight and talk some craziness, as you can see, we go ahead and put the next set down and then we start to glue everything in. This is a process without a doubt, but very financially rewarding in this line of work. So with rubber flooring installation, same scenario, it's very heavy material so you want to do a little section at a time, slowly cut down on everything, get it all glued in so it doesn't shift around on you, and then trim it in just like you would do the sheet vinyl I showed you in the last video there. Now if you have any questions about installing rubber floor, we've been doing quite a few of those jobs lately, so just hit me up and I'll be sure to answer those. Now. I obviously didn't strip the audio on this one, so you're gonna go ahead and get some of that crunchy cuts there. But uh, what I did in this video is we had a small closet, and this is great for you DIY types. We are gonna install this seam without any seam tape. Yes, I'm the biggest hack on planet Earth. But I'm doing the trace cut, like I always do. We're gonna go ahead and mark all the carpet. Man, I should have sped this one up. Slowly but surely, I'm gonna get through this. Hear my homies talking in the background there. So now that the seam's cut, everything's ready to go. We, we are going... need them, actually. No, Man, what the hell the am I saying here? Blah, bitty, blah. I should just cut this out, but I'm not going to. You're going to sit through this here. I'm rough trimming everything down in this tiny closet. The camera's sitting on a tripod in there. Everything sounds super crazy. I'm going to fold this back. Watch this hack move right here. Oh man, seam sealer adhesive. I'm not even gonna hot burn this. I'm just gonna drizzle that good seam sealer down in between the seams there, slowly dripping out. Look at that molasses there coming sure. out. And who knows what we're talking about. Hopefully nobody says anything too greasy in this because we do talk crazy on our job sites. But I'm gonna zigzag the glue back and forth, get it down on the padding there. And once I get to the other side, literally just going to drop it down in there this closet is a little one and a half by one and a half so it doesn't matter too much just going to go ahead and glue the seam drop it down <laughs> seal it Bombing and then trim it pizza. in and yeah lots of pizza on our job sites that's how we get down drip 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 drop down the one side go on your instagram and see you recreating the fucking baywatch intro with lewis <laughs> <laughs> running on the beach to each other? No, running through the water. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's Chaser mentioning this guy, Lewis, who we've had this hellacious lawsuit going on with on one of our rental properties that we finally wrapped up and won the lawsuit. But it cost me about five grand to win a $600 lawsuit against him. But it was just principles. We won. He tried to sue us. He lost. So there's a fun fact of the day for you there. And next, back to some rubber flooring here. Now... Like I said, stuff's super heavy, so have your dude help you lift it up. I like to glue the seams on this with the appropriate adhesive. Go ahead and roll the next shot down. 
pull the seam together so you're good to go and then you just rough cut it in and then do the final trim on it so it's nice and tight to the wall everything moving along appropriately same thing cut it down so it's manageable push those seams together make sure everything's tight because once it's down it's done rough trim it and then give it the final trim so everything is beautiful and another shot it's a pretty cool strategy here because you do make quite a bit per square foot on this product and as you just drop in a roll down mentally you're able to be like okay boom that's another x number of dollars that's a number x another x number of dollars and you keep on adding up your profits on it as you go ahead and lay these down just chopping them in and what do we have here oh this is repair central here there was a dog that just went ham on this house right here so here's a seam where the dog made too many holes in it all the way across so we're going to do a saddle seam in it so i'm plugging the one side on the one carpet seaming that in get it nice and tight and we're going to actually going to come back to that video and seam the other section and here's a part where he pulled it away from the wall so we're just going to do a little ugly patch seam in there rough cutting everything in so it looks good okay the piece fits kind of sort of now we're going to flop it back drop the seam tape and melt it on as we go tractor it all in and then we're going to stretch it in when it's done here we're back to the original seam there boom boom cut it down mark 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 trace the dots get the seam tape down drop the seam iron in boom 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 done that was like three seconds quick hundred dollar repair there here is an interesting one we did this was a total hack job vinyl plank installation over top of damaged laminate to get it to pass inspection we did that one the other days and now my phone is officially cleared out of old content